Mombele, unmute. Okay, in case Mombele is not unmuting, uh, let me ask Shekaina, unmute, and lead us in a word of prayer. Okay, uh, thank you so much uh, for the word of prayer. Uh, those people who are not around last time, uh, when we are learning, we started on what we call simultaneous equations, and that was our topic of discussion last time. And we are able to look at the different methods of solving simultaneous equations. And we looked at particularly there were two uh, approaches that we went on and looked through, and I gave you some numbers to try out. And let me hope the numbers were came out as they were supposed to do so. So today we are going to look at another approach, and this approach is what we call the graphical method. So today our approach, we are still continuing with, with simultaneous equations, but today we are looking at this special, special approach called the graphical method. And after the graphical method, we shall go on and look at how we can solve uh, word problems involving spontaneous equations. So, uh, in order for us to know the behavior of any line in when it comes to science, whenever you want to determine the nature and the rest of that, always we use uh, equations or always we use graphs in order for us to determine the nature of the graph. The nature of the graph gives you a picture on how uh, on the trend of that particular line. It gives you the trend of the data you are plotting. It gives you a good conclusion on what you have obtained from the field. And therefore, whenever we, we are doing simultaneous equations, we always want to, to find out how that particular line looks like. And these are the few steps we are going to be following when we are solving numbers using the graphical method. So under the graphical method, there are three things we are going to do. One, we shall be forming uh, our tables. In our tables, we shall be extracting our coordinates and we shall be plotting those coordinates along uh, our Cartesian plane. And the solution we shall obtain from the graph will give us a conclusion on the right solutions for that particular simultaneous equations. So let me ask you, uh, summarize something from this slide. Just summarize something small you would love uh, from this slide. Just summarize three points from the slide and then we continue.
Uh, when you finish, you let me know. When you finish, you let me know through the chat that you have finished to summarize, and then we start on the graphing, okay? Yes, uh, Leticia, this is senior theory work. Uh, this is senior theory work. Okay, it seems people have finished. It seems people have finished. Okay, we are going to start. Now, uh, when we are graphing, now we have uh, this particular equation. Now, what do we need to do? When we are going to deal with this approach of simultaneous, uh, when we are going to deal with the graphical approach, you know well that under simultaneous equation, we have two equations. This is our first equation, and this is the second equation. So what are we going to do? We are going to create a table for both equations. So I'm going to create the first table for my first equation, which is y is equal to x plus one. And also I'm going to create another table for one minus minus x. So when I'm creating these tables, I'm going to come here. I draw a simple table. Uh, this is my table. And in my table, I'm going to have two values. I'm going to have my x, I'm going to have my y. But at this level, they are not going to give you the range for the x values. It is you to find them or to use any values of your choice. So allow me to start from negative two, negative one, zero, one, and then I'll go up to two. It is you to choose from where you want to start from up to where you want to, to end. So what are you going to do? After obtaining the values of x, you're going to come in this equation you want to plot and then start filling in the x. Our first x, according to the table, you are not seeing that our x is equal to negative two. So I'm going to come to my equation and I say, y is equal to two x plus one. Where there is x, I'll put negative two. So I'll have two times negative two plus one. This will give me two times negative two, because we are multiplying only this, I'll have negative four plus one. And negative four, oh, sorry. Okay, I'll have negative four plus one. So negative four plus one, it will give me a negative three. So that is going to be my first value. After putting x is equal to negative two, I'm going to go on to the next one. So here, under here, I'll come and I say this is negative three. Then after that, I go, when x is equal to negative one, I go back to my equation, y is equal to two x plus one. Where there is x, I put negative one. So I'll have two times negative one plus one. So two times negative one is negative two plus one, and it will give me a negative one. So here I'll put here that my answer is negative one. After that, I'll go to the next value, which is zero. So I say x is equal to zero. So I'll say y is equal to two x plus one. Now, where there is x, I put zero. So I'll say y is equal to two times zero plus one. Now two times zero is zero plus one, and I will end up with one. So under zero, I will put one. Can you complete for me the two values when x is one and x is equal to two and place your answer in the chat? Yes, Leticia. Yes, Leticia, unmute. Leticia. Okay, now uh, Leticia is not unmuting. Okay, uh, people are saying through the chat that they are getting three and then five. Yes, Leticia. Three and five. Three and five, good. So here we are going to put our answer as three and here we shall put our answer as five. Now, after doing that, it is always a good practice to extract the coordinates that you are going to plot. So take an example for this. I'll come here and I say my first pair is going to be like you read it like this. So it's going to be negative two, negative three. Then I'll have negative one, negative one. I'm going to have zero, one. 
I'll have one and three, and then I'll have two and five. So that is how I'm going to write my, my values that I'm going to do to be plotting. Now, after that table, you are going to go on and construct the second table. Now, the second table, uh, the second table, uh, sorry, the second table, I'm going to come here. I draw still the table. After drawing the table, I'll come here and I say this is my X and this is my Y. Still, we can start from the same. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now, after getting our X, let us fill them in. Now, uh, so we shall say when X is equal to negative 2, what do I get as for my Y? So we have our Y is equal to 1 minus X. So where there is X, you put negative 2. So I'll say 1 minus negative 2, which will give me a 1. A negative and a negative is yielding a positive plus 2, which will give me a 3. After that, I go to the next one. When X is equal to negative 1, so you, you substitute in my Y is 1 minus X. So I say Y is equal to 1 minus negative 1. Negative and a negative gives us a positive. So I have 1 plus 1, which will give us a 2. So here I have a three, here I have a two. Can we complete the table? Can we complete the table? Uh, Leticia, do you have a question? No. Okay. So let's complete the table. Complete the table. Complete the table. Complete the table. Shekaina, what do you have? Um, I have, I've only done two so far. I've done, I have one. Four, you have one, yes. And then I have zero. Zero, uh huh. Let, I'm doing the next one. Okay. 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 Uh, comfort. What do you have for the last one? For the last one, hmm. for under under two, I have negative one. Under two, you have under negative two, you one. Have one. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. okay. Now after okay. obtaining. Now, I after obtaining our values, you go on and extract your coordinates. So I'm going to extract my coordinates. So my coordinates, I'll have negative two, three. I'll have negative one, two. I'll have zero, one. I'll have one, zero. And I'll have two, negative one. So now these ones, equal, these are, are the ones for a, one minus x. But you are going to allow me uh, to go on and write my other points. Uh, these ones are written here of negative two and negative three, negative one, negative one, zero, one, one, three, and two and five. I'm writing here because I want them on the second screen. Eh? Uh, so I want them to appear on the screen we are going on. So don't mind why I'm writing. So that's why I'm writing them there. So, but for you, write them in the good way. Now, after writing your values like this, we are going to go on and go to our graph and plot these points. And then we look at the nature of that line. So now when you look at my screen, when you look at my screen, I have my graph paper. Now, now my assumption is also you have your graph paper. What are you going to do? When you look at our coordinates, we have a negative and we have some positives. So we are going to, we are going to, balance, eh? we are going to balance. I'm going to get my Lula. I've obtained my Lula. Allow me to use red. Uh, so in my, uh, this is my Lula. I'm going to come here. Uh, for you, you make sure your thing is good. Eh? Uh, so I'm going to trace. And I want to always advise, make sure you trace these lines here. Uh, now I've traced one line. 
Uh, after that, I'm going to trace another line. Uh, I'm tracing another line. So I'll do my line like that. So after that, uh, let me hope we are still together. I'm going to label and I put my values. So under my values, I know here I'm starting at zero. I'll come here and I say, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this is six. Then I'm going to come here and I say, this is negative one, this is negative two, this is negative three. Then I'll come up here and I say, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Then down I'll say, this is one, this is two, but these are negatives down. This is negative three, and this is negative, negative four. Now, after doing so, what are you going to do? Label your axis very well, that this is my x-axis. That this axis here is my y-axis. So friends, first let me know in the chat whether we are on the same page. Let me know whether we are on the same page. Just say yes, yes, we are on the same page and we'll continue. I want to find out whether we are on that same page. Okay. Uh-huh, good to go, good to go, yeah. Uh-huh, good. Now, since we're on the same page, we are going to do our next thing. We are going to do the plotting. Now, when I'm plotting, allow me, I want to use another color, but for you to stick to your color, no problem. Now, I'm going to plot negative two and negative three. I'll come to my graph. I know this is where negative two is and negative three is down. I'll plot using a star. I go to the next one, negative one, negative one. Negative one is here, negative one is here. I do the same plotting. I go to the next one, zero and one. Zero and one is a point here, I do it. One, three, one and three is a point here, I do it. Then next one, two and five, two is here, and then my five is here, I do it. Now, after plotting like that, get your straight ruler. Get your ruler. And now after get this is my Lula. Uh, I don't know whether you can allow me. Okay, let me use black, no problem. I want to use a color that people can easily see, but I think black can also be seen. I'm going to get my Lula. And my Lula, I draw straight line, place it like the way you are seeing, I'm placing mine. Ah, yeah. And bring your thing in a good way, like though you are seeing mine. Yeah, but I want you up here, up, up, uh, extend your line a bit. Then after doing so, what are you going to do? You are going to come and label your line you have plotted, that this line is y is equal to two x plus one. Let me know whether we have reached that point. Are we there on that point? We must move together. Hmm. If we are still plotting, yes, Becky is saying yeah, Karen is saying yeah, Sash is saying yeah, Anil, okay. Okay, yeah, we are almost there. Okay, 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 I think we are there, okay. Now, after plotting like that, we are going to go and plot the second line. Now, I'll come, still pick my pen, I plot. Allow me to, to use another color still for this line. Hope green will work for me. Yeah, I'll use green. I plot negative two, three. Negative two, three is a point here. I go to the next one. Negative one, two. Negative one, two is here. I go to the next one. Zero, one. Zero, one is here. I go to the next one. One, zero. One, zero is here. I go to the next one. Two, negative one. Two, and negative one is here. Now, after plotting and doing everything, go get your ruler, uh, join using a ruler, all the points where your line, where your line can go through, all those points you have plotted. Mine is going like that. Ah, yeah, mine is like that. Then after you are going to write that which points have you plotted that have plotted this line, y is equal to one minus x. If you have the same thing like what I have, kindly let us know in the chat. 
The teacher is saying he has finished. Okay, the rest, let us know. Finished, Sasha has finished. Okay, the rest, let's complete, let's complete. Angel, uh, Angel, have you finished? Amara? Yes, teacher, I'm about finished. Okay, what about Angel? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, Karen? Karen? Yes, please, teacher. Have you finished? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about Queen? Okay, hope you're on the same page. Now, after doing so, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to read off the solutions. Now, what do you know? Always the point where those two lines meet that you have plotted is your solution. Now, our points are meeting. This is the meeting point here, is where they are meeting. What are you going to do? You are going to come at this point where those lines are meeting. Read off what your X value is and what your Y value is at that point. Let me see through the chat. What is the X coordinate of this meeting point and what is the Y coordinate for that meeting point? Put your answer in the chat. What is the X coordinate and what is the Y coordinate? Aha, uh -huh. zero one, zero one, zero one. Aha, uh -huh. very good, very good. Uh -huh. So I'm going to come and I say, my X is equal to zero and my Y is equal to one. And therefore we have finished to solve the simultaneous equation. So that is how we solve this equation using the graphical approach. So the first step, plot, find the meeting point and read off the coordinates. Members, have we understood that part? Let me know. Have we understood? And we go to another number. We try another. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. People have understood. Let me. Okay. Okay. We are going to do another number and then we see how it, it goes. Yes. Lenovo tab. <clears throat> Sir, I have a question. Hmm. If you are choosing these points to use when you are finding that this is for y, this is for x, mm. do you just choose all the specific ones that you have to use these ones, like negative better that way? We have used the negative too. Okay. No, there, there is no for you as long as you label you, x is the most important thing, as long as you get the x values. But for X, you just choose that this one yeah. may be. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. okay. you, you choose. Okay. 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 Now, that is good. Now, I'm going to, I want to teach you. Okay. Now, I want you to, I, I'm going to teach you the second approach of still doing the same number. But this time around, I want us to minimize the time. Now that you are mathematicians, always when you are drawing, Always, you make sure you use the least time possible. And now, which approach do I want to, to teach you? Whenever you are drawing an equation of a line, or whenever you are drawing a line, you need only two points for those points to give you a good line. You don't need to find very many values. You only need two points. And those two points are what we call the intercept points. Whenever you have a graph, let me say this is a my graph. The point here, who can tell us the special name for this point and this point? How do we call A and how do we call B? Ah, let me see whether people still remember. What is the special name for A and B mathematically? How do we call it? I'm saying, uh, yes, Leticia or Patricia? Uh, X A is the Y intercept. A is the Y intercept, uh-huh. B is the X intercept. Uh -huh. B is the X intercept. Yes, the moment you have those two points, 
it means that they are just enough for you to come up with a line. And now this is the approach we are, I want us to use. Now, this is my first equation, and this is my second equation. My first equation, I have 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. What are you going to do? For you, you look, the only thing I want you to look out for is the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And how do we get there? And And we say data set equation you want to plot where there is y, you put it zero. So I'll come and I say 2x plus 3y is equal to negative six. Since I want the x intercept, zero. So I'll come here and I say 2x plus here I'll have 2x. Three times zero is zero. So here I'll have like plus zero is equal to negative six. So I'll have 2x is equal to negative 6. So in order for me to find the value of x, I will divide by 2, I divide by 2. So I'm going to end up with x is equal to negative 3. So that means that when my y is 0, x is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to just come here and I say, uh, when my y is 0, x is equal to negative 3. Now I go to the next one. I ask myself, what about when, what about when I want the y-intercept? I will say that y-intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. I go back to my equation. I say 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. So where there is x, I put 0. So I will say 2 times 0 plus 3y is equal to negative 6. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3y is equal to negative 6. So here I have 3 Okay. I was asking whether we are together up to that point. Let me know. Uh, sorry. Are we together up to that point? Let me know through the chat. Let me know through the chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some yes, others no. Some yes, others no. Okay. Now I'm going to repeat. What I'm saying is that when we are plotting any straight line in math, mm -hmm. the most important thing is you knowing at what point does my line cut the x-axis? At what point does it cut the y-axis? And those points where it cuts the x-axis and the y-axis are what you call the intercepts. So if you want to plot any line, for you, what do you need to do? You don't need to, to have very many points of x as we have had them at the start. At the start, I was showing you an example. But if you don't want to use that approach where you have very many points of x, 
we can decide to use only two points, when x is zero and when y is zero. So that is the approach that I am showing you here. So that means that for this particular one, I'm going to come and I extract my two points. I have the two points is zero and negative two. Then the second point is negative three and zero. And what do I want you always to do? Whenever you draw your table, are you seeing for, this is the way I always form it? That for you put x is equal to zero, find that value. Put y is equal to zero, find that particular, particular value. But let us first do for the second one and people will pick up uh, a bit. Now take an example for the second one. For the second one, we have 3x minus y is equal to negative nine. So when I'm drawing this, I just need to draw my simple table. In my simple table, I need only two values, x and the y. And what do I need? I want to just know when x is equal to zero, what value of y do I get? Then I'll come here and I say, 3x minus y is equal to negative nine. Now my x is a zero, so I'll say, three times zero minus y is equal to negative nine. Three times zero is zero minus y is equal to negative nine. Zero minus y, you get negative y is equal to negative nine. So in order for you to remove the negative, divide by negative one, divide by negative one. So I will have my y is equal to nine. So here under y, I'll come and I put what? Nine. Now, after getting that one, I ask myself, what about what happens when y is zero? So I'll come back here and I work out. I say my equation is 3x minus y is equal to negative nine. Now y is zero. So where there is y, you put it zero. So I'll say 3x minus zero is equal to negative nine. So this will give us 3x is equal to negative nine. So once you reach here, find x, I will divide by three, I divide by three. This and this will cancel. Here I'll remain with x is equal to negative three. So where there is, when y is zero, you are getting your x as negative three. Kindly let me know in the chat whether we are somewhere. I want to know uh, whether we are on the same page. Yes, Shash is saying yes. Yes, yes, got it. Yes, yes, same, same page, same page. Uh-huh. Okay, let me now answer only Karen. Yes, Karen. Um, teacher, I would like to know if we give ourselves the x, like the coordinate stands. We have like zero. Yeah. The ones that give up. Yes, and that is what I want you to start learning. Eh? That as long as you, for you put x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. There is no any line that will fail to come out as long as you have those two points. Is that fine? Okay, yes. So going forward, we are only going to use those two points. Hadia, let me know. Hadia, are we on the same page? Yes, teacher, we are. Okay, okay. Okay, now we are going to uh we are going to continue. Now I'm going to extract my two points. I'll come here. I extract my two points. Now my two points I'm going to extract is going to be zero and nine, and I'm going to extract negative three and zero. Now after extracting them, we are going to go on our graph. We are going to go on our graph, and then we do the plotting of those what? Of those points. So we are going to go and we do those points. So I'm going to come and I go to my graph here. This is my graph. Now on my graph, still, please always, when you are using the graphical approach, you must use a line and a ruler, you use a ruler and then draw. But also we need the critical thinking skills. Eh? Before you draw, you ask yourself, along which points will I need more? You are noticing that this is your X and this is your Y. X, Y, you are noticing that X is zero, negative three, zero, negative three. Then when you look at Y, the highest value is nine. So you need to balance your graph such that the nine can fit. So I'm going to come here. I will get my ruler. Then after getting my ruler, please, I always want you to trace these long lines. Eh? Eh, avoid using those ugly, ugly lines. So I'll come here. I draw. This is my line. I trace it like that. Then I'll come here, uh, somewhere here. 
uh, allow me to, uh, because I am seeing, I'll have, uh, okay, why I have a two down, I'm going to hope here it will fit something like that. For you, make sure yours fits, eh? it must fit. So I'll come here and I ask myself, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it will fit. So I'll come here and I say, this is my zero. I'll have one, I'll have two, I'll have three, I'll have four, I'll have five, I'll have six, I'll have seven, I'll have eight. I'm going to have lastly here nine. Then down here, I'll have negative one, I'll have negative two. Then I'll come along Y, X, I will have one, two, three, four. I stop there. Then this side, I'll have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Afterwards, I label that this is my X axis. And then I label, mine does not fit very well, but for you label. So this is your Y axis. Now, after that, I start doing the plotting. The first point I have is zero, negative two. So I'll get my pencil or Lula and those equipments, zero and negative two. So zero and negative two is a point down here. Plot yours, negative three, zero. Negative three, zero is a point here. Now, after draw, after plotting those points, I'll get my Lula. Now, I'll have my line go like this. Uh, something like that, yes. Yes, you make it much better. Uh, you make it much better. Then after that, I'm going to go and plot the second pair. Zero and nine. Zero and nine is a point here. And then negative three, zero. Negative three, zero is also a point here. So after that, I'm going to get my ruler. My ruler is here. Allow me to use another. Okay, no problem. Then I join those points. Ta oh, I do like that. Now, after drawing the lines, because you have said we must do what? Label our lines. So I remember what I don't, oh, this line. Label it that this line was, uh, okay, I don't even. Let me, allow me to go back. It was 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. This was, label it, 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. Label your line very well. So I'll say 2x plus 3y was equal to negative six. And when you look at the second line was three X minus Y is equal to negative nine. So this was three X minus Y is equal to negative nine. Now we have said that the points where they meet, those two lines, that point where they meet is the solution. Is the Those are the answers to your equation. So what do you do? You read off what your X value is and you read off what your Y value is. So may I ask you now, can everyone read off what do you have as your X and what do you have as your Y? Hmm. I want to see the answer. Hanil is saying negative three zero, okay. Okay, negative three zero, negative three zero. Okay, 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 aha, uh -huh, good. So here I will say my X is negative three and my Y is equal to zero. So now that, those are the solutions, that is your answer. And the moment you try to place them eh, in your answer here to prove, you will get the same answer. So when you try to put here, that when, what will happen when X is negative three, it will be two times negative three plus three times the zero. So two times negative three gives you negative six plus zero, which is negative six, which is correct. Even when you take into the second one, three X minus Y is equal to negative nine. And you place your X is equal to negative three, you have three times negative three minus Y, which is a zero. Three times negative three is negative nine minus zero. So it also qualifies. So you conclude that my X is negative three, my Y is equal to zero. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we are continuing. Should we continue? Let me know in the chat. Are we good to go to try another number? Okay, people are saying yes. Okay, uh, we are going to continue. Okay, allow me Okay, to clear that screen. And then uh, we continue to another 
number. Okay, that is another number. Can I first allow you to first? Oh, okay. Let us try once using the, this second approach I've been teaching you, and then we we'll try out one more on our own. Now, I've told you that the approach now I want you to use, the easiest approach, is when you have few this you have you use that approach so now this is the number we have and here we have x plus 3y is equal to 1 now that approach you ask yourself okay i don't know that people have finished have people finished okay i can go back now there are sometimes when you are using the approach you find yourself you are going to get nega uh you are going to get let me say uh you are going to get points it is very okay for you to have points eh? hey, do not run away from points and say hey how will i plot this point but in case you are this person who fears to work with points what am i going to advise you increase the number in always increase on the number of of the values you are going to plot eh? If you meet that the number, the, the, the values you are going to plot have points, then you increase, eh? feel free to increase. Take an example. When you look here at our table, I've said that as long as for any line, you have your X and Y, and as long as you are very accurate, you can never fail to get the right, the right answer. So uh, we are going to start. So we said the first thing you say, when X is equal to zero, what is my Y? So I'll come and I say 3x plus 2y is equal to 2. So what are you going to do? Where there is x, you put 0. So I'll say 3 times 0 plus 2y will equal to 2. So this will be 0 plus 2y is equal to 2. 2y will equal to 2. So you divide by 2, divide by 2. y will equal to 1. So here I'll come and I put here my y as 1. Then I go to the next. What happens when y is equal to 0? So you come again and say 3x plus 2y will equal to 2. So where there is y, you put as 0. So I will say 3x times uh, 2 ti sorry, plus 2 times 0 is equal to 2. Then I'll have 3x plus 2 times 0 is a 0 is equal to 2. So I'll end up with 3x is equal to 2. So I divide by 3, divide by 3. So my x will equal to 2 out of 3. Now, if you find that this number, once you try to reduce your getting points, then write your answer to one decimal point. So now this one is the same as having x is equal to 0 0.666. So to one decimal place, here you write it as 0 0.7. Hope that is okay. So here I will come and I put here 0 0.7. Now, after that, I go to, to the other part. You extract your coordinates. Eh? I go to the other, other part. Now, the second part I'll have, I'll have my x here, I'll have my y. Still, I do the same. What happens when x is equal to 0? So you come here, you say, I'll have x plus 3y is equal to 1. Where there is x put at 0? So I'll have 0 plus 3y will equal to 1. So this will be 3y is equal to 1. Divide by 3, divide by 3. So y is equal to 1 out of 3. Then after you ask, what is 1 divided by 3? So you find out that it is 0 0.3333. So meaning that this one, you'll approximate it as 0 0.3. Then you go to the second one. So here I'll put 1 point, sorry, 0 0.3. Now after getting that one, you ask yourself, what about when y is equal to 0? What do I get? So here, I will say, what happens when y is 0? I'll come to my equation and I say, x plus 3y will equal to 1. x, we don't know it. y is 0, so I say 3 times 0 is equal to 1. So I say x plus 3 times 0 is 0 is equal to 1. x will equal to 1. So here, I'll come and I put my, my 1. Now, after doing so, you are going to go on and extract your points that you are going to plot from your table. Now, the points, according to what we have here, that we are going to plot for this line of 3x plus 2y is equal to 2, we are going to plot a coordinate 0, 1, and we shall plot 0 0.70. Then for this one of x plus 3y, 
is equal to one, I'll plot zero and 0 0.3, then I'll plot one and zero. Let me know whether we are together up to that point. Are we together up to that point? Are we together? I want to know. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. According to the chat, people are following and they are saying we are on the same, same page. Okay. Now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to go on and do the plotting. So that is the next thing we are going to do. We are going to do the plotting. Now, when we go to our plotting, still we are going to apply or do the same, the same things. So I'm going to come uh, to my graph here and I plot. Now, when it comes to 0 0.7, sometimes those figures disturb students. Eh? So I do advise that when you find yourself having, uh, uh, let me say, decimal points, eh? use two centimeters for easy plotting. Eh? But here, but at this level still, I expect you now to be well conversant with how we plot points if you have gone through uh, some practicals for the different subjects. So allow me to say, I will come here, I plot. Uh, I'm going to come here. Eh, this is my line. I'm going to come here and I plot another line. something like that. After plotting, I'll come and I label, I say this is zero. So here I advise, we go with the two centimeters. So this is one, this is two. I'll come this side, more so when you have points, eh? negative one, uh, negative two here. Then uh, this is negative two. Then I'll come here, I say, this is my one, uh, this is my two. This is my negative one. This is my negative two. So here I label that this is my y axis. And this side, I have my x axis. Then I start plotting a zero and a one. Sash, do you have anything? Sash, let me know. Excuse me, sir. The markings of your of the axis, mm. the x is possibly where the y axis is, and then the y goes where the x is, as in the labeling. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So this You're is welcome. my axis, and this is the x axis. Yeah, but already, yeah, okay. But here, uh, if you find people writing like this. Please don't say they are wrong. Eh? If you find someone writing like that, that this is y is equal to zero and this is x is equal to zero. Eh? Uh, this line here, we, the y axis is the same as the line x is equal to zero. This line, the, y, uh, the x axis is the same as y is equal to zero. Okay. Uh, yes, Chisa. Asking. Mm -hmm. Isn't it good to, to include the scale before somewhere there up? Oh, okay. I'll talk about needed. that. I'll talk about that. Yeah? Okay. Mm. But here at, at this point, there's no need for you to have the scale on. Uh, but uh, uh, we shall bring in that one when we are covering mainly the linear programming. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we are going to come and you plot. So the first one is 0, 0,1. You plot it very well. This is 0 0.1. Now the next one is 0 0.7 and 0. The reason why I use the one centimeter, I know from 0, from here to here, I have a 1. So I say 1, but the boxes, they are 10. So meaning each box is 0 0.1. So for me to, point, to plot 0 0.7, I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I will know it will be here. So I will plot it like this. So after, I'm going to get my good ruler, and then I join those points. Eh? I'll come, I join the points I've plotted. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me first say this. Yeah. So you join first for you be joining. I'm also going to join mine. Uh join, join your points very well as I also join. Okay, let's join, let's join. Plot everything and then we join. So I'm going to come here and I join uh like that. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you extend a bit your graph. Eh? Uh -huh. Now, after we do the labeling and you say, this one is the equation. Oh, this is what? Uh, this is 3x. I'll come and I say, uh, this is 3x plus 2y is equal to 2. After that, plot the second one, 0 and 0 0.3. So I know 0 is here. 0 0.3, I have 1, 2, 3. So I'll come somewhere here and I, I do like that. Then I'll have 1 and 0 again. So 1 and 0 is somewhere here. Uh, let me hope you are able to see it. Then after I'm going to, to join again. Now I'll come here and I join like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll join like that. Okay, then after I'm going to label my graph that like this graph is x plus 3y is equal to 1. Now, the point where they are meeting is the coordinate you are going to read off. Now, here I want to highlight and I show you that this is where we have at this point here. Check out very well. Here is where we have. So what am I going to do? I'm going to come there and I read off the X value and what my Y value is. So here, uh, they are meeting around this point. I will come and I read off this value. Then here, they are meeting along this value. I read it off. Let me see what people are getting. Read off, please, and we see what you are getting. Let me see what people are getting. Let's get, let's get a read off and you tell us what you have. Uh, please do not fear. At times you'll get even points. Yeah, 0 0.6 and 0 0.1. 0 0.6 and 0 0.1. Shekina is saying 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0. Okay, uh-huh, that is the range. So now according to mine, I'm reading from mine, here, I'm seeing my x is 0 0.6. And my y, my y is, uh, this is 0 0.1, but I know you may be very accurate eh, compared to me. So for me, mine is around 0 0.1 and, uh, and some other, it doesn't reach 0 0.2, but it is there in the middle, middle. So it's around 0 0.1, 0 point, maybe 1.4, around there in that range. So those are the values you are going to, to read off from there. Because you are not, uh, this is the, according to me, this was like where one, 0 0.1 was, this was 0. Point, but it is somewhere here. So that's why I'm saying maybe it's around 0 0.14. So that is what I'm going to, to write. Okay, are we together? Now those who are accurate, uh, Hannah is confused. Hannah, can you let us know? Let me first look for Hannah. Hannah, from where? Hannah. Hannah, unmute. Oh, Hannah is failing to unmute. Okay. Yes, Patricia. Okay. So what happens to someone who uses the data scale? 
for one centimeter. You you get the same yeah. answer. You get the same answer. Mm. Yeah, this answer is the same just because at times it is hard to read. Eh? Yeah, that's how I'm struggling now. Uh huh. That would that. I don't know. Okay. 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 So that is how you do it. Okay. We are going to continue. I want you to try one number on your own. Choose just one number from all these numbers. Everyone, for you, just choose any number you want to try out of your choice. No, let us try number one. We are using graphical approach. Number one, we are using graphical approach. Mm. So let's try. Draw your table, get your values and everything. When you finish, you will let us know in the chat. So I'm quiet because I'm expecting people to be drawing now. In progress. According to what I'm seeing in the chat, I Meg. Okay, this is Megan is saying she's getting 5.5 .5 and 0 0.5. Uh Hanil is saying he's getting 5.6 and 0 0.5. Okay, and that is good. Uh that is good. Yeah, that is the range of the answers you are supposed to to obtain so those who are obtaining something different you're going to check out 5.5 0 0.5 yeah if you have 5.5 0 0.5 you are really very very accurate yeah now uh we have looked at now this is the third method so you always check out you use any method of your choice that you really feel you have understood better either graphical either you have the elimination or substitution 
So for you, use any that you feel is easy and you can be able to plot those, those points. Yes, Samsung. Samsung. Okay. Uh, let me hope Audrey, we are together. Angel, are we together? Hello? Amara? Yes. Teacher, yes. I'm asking. Yes, teacher. Hello? Okay. Yes, go on. I'm asking, how do we deal with number six? Number six? Oh. Yes. Now, still number six, you do the same way. Eh? Now, number six, you have x plus y plus eight is equal to zero. Now, mm. you, you can draw your table again and say this is x, y. When x is zero, put here zero. So meaning you'll have zero plus y plus eight is equal to zero. So this will be y plus eight is equal to zero. Take the eight this side. So you'll have y is equal to negative eight. So here you'll put negative eight. Alternatively, you can first arrange your equation very well and say, let me first remove this 8 and say, x plus y is equal to negative 8. And then for the second, it becomes negative 3x plus 2y is equal to 9. So you can first remove those the digits and you take them the other side. Hope Samsung, we are together on that. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. So we are going to end here now about graphical approach. And then I will allow you to always plot uh, using any approach of your of your choice. Now you're going to allow me uh, to first end this recording. And then, uh, okay.